everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be doing a Q&A caving episode. As always, with the questions, we get them from the previous episode. So if you have any questions for the next Q&A, feel free to leave a comment down below. I found this awesome cave, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with today's Q&A caving episode. So if you don't know what Q&A is or Q&A caving, it's basically where I need to go and get material in the world, uh, such as iron and things like that, since we are not using farms. And this is the easiest way to do so. And one way to make this enjoyable for you is to do some Q&A um, while I record. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I found this epic, epic cave. Uh, so I'm very excited and so our first question of the day is and it's gonna be a good answer too I think is what is it like to be a youtuber? Nobody has asked this question yet. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited to answer this so um, Initially a lot of people think that being a youtuber is like uh, It's like not easy, but like they think that it's just playing games like video games all day well, de you know depending on what your YouTube channel is about. Ours is about video games. So uh, a lot of people tend to think, well, well, all you do is just sit there and play video games. This is not really the case at all, actually. Um, you, being a YouTuber uh, sort of teaches you a lot about time management, actually, um, because you have to juggle so many things. You you are the the main man, the, the, the myth, the legend, the, everything to the channel, right? So a typical business firm or just any kind of business has multiple people in it running, you know, running the show. You've got the, the accountant, you've got the, the creative director, the social media director, you know, just different people to do different things. With the YouTube channel, if you're running it by yourself, it's all you. Yeah, so uh, one thing you learn really, really quickly is time management and, um, you know, how to do, do different things. For example, um, so portions of my day are spent doing different things. Like, like I said, a lot of people think that I just play video games all day, and that's not actually the case. Um, majority of my day is either spent uh, doing a lot of different things. And so uh, let's start off with just the basic idea. I want to get a video up. Um, you know, I want to get a video posted on the YouTube channel. So what do I do to make that process happen? So first off, um, you know, you need a computer. Uh, you need software, you need your game, you need all the basics. Uh, once you have that, then you're ready to go. Now, so the first thing that is uh, required of this is an idea. Now, you can't just go into it with no idea. You got to have sort of a general direction outline, you know, of what you want to do. Um, so for this for this example, our our episode is Q and A caving. That's what we want to do this episode. We're going to answer questions. So now that you have your idea, you need to put that idea, you know, onto video, so you can you know prepare with the next steps. So what you'll do is you'll record. Now depending on how you record, a lot of different things can happen. Um, for example, on my channel, I like to uh, record my audio separate from my video. And this is uh, for a lot of reasons, actually. Uh, oh, I'm getting hit. Ugh, there we go. Um, <laughs> die. Okay, so this is for a lot of reasons. Um, in the past, I've had a lot of problems with uh, really kind of scratchy audio. And so if you record your audio from your video separately, then you have majority control over what you are posting or what you are editing. So um, I would say, uh, you, you know, depending on what your what your video is, uh, you're going to take your time. You're going to record your video. Once you have your, your raw footage, then it's time to go into post-production. And um, post-production is a lot of different things. You need to you need to get your video kind of buttoned up uh, to where you would be comfortable posting it on YouTube. You also need to do. Wow, this cave is magnificent! Holy crap! Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on the copper because I or not copper, but uh, the coal because I have a lot of coal. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to edit our video. Now, um, what goes into editing a video? Well, depending on your editing style and how you like to edit, you can either do raw jump cuts, you can do transitions with noises like the little swooshes you hear. Uh, that all takes a little bit of time to do. Um, and then I do something called mastering my audio. 
So typically, um, your microphone has a decent quality sound um, right off the bat. You know, if you're if you're doing this, you know, YouTube, you know, sort of full time, and this is your job, you want to have the best production, you know, value as possible. Now, um, what I like to do is I like to, uh, you know, inc make my audio just sound that much better. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've used, I've learned to use Audacity. Now, if you don't know what Audacity is, it's an, um, like an audio program and you can record and then you can apply different effects to your voice. So what I've done is I have made something called a chain and a chain is something that will apply different effects all at once. So the first thing that I do with my audio is I remove any background noise. Um, so typically I have an air conditioner on or a fan. You don't really typically hear that too often. You might hear glimpses of it just because of when I'm talking. Um, once it removes all the background noise, it then levels the audio. Once the audio is leveled, then it adds bass, uh, reverb, and uh, like treble and things like that into the bait, into the uh, into the sound, and gives my voice a deeper voice, and it makes my voice sound like fuller and richer. So once the once that is done, that doesn't take too long because basically what you have to do is you just have to kind of pick out uh, a portion of your audio, and then pick that part to be where you want your noise reduction to go. So that will be a part of uh, the video where there's not me talking very much like if I was quiet like right here that's where you would pick your noise reduction so once you have um, you know mastered your audio and so here here's a common question I get and this is my own kind of problem you hear the three two ones in the video right that is the cut line for when I mark a video so for example um, you're probably thinking well Jevin how do you sync the video together it's actually pretty simple right um, I use hotkeys, right? So, uh, when I start to record, I use fraps for my audio or my video, my video files. Cause they're easy to use. So fraps has a hotkey, uh, F4 and so does audacity. You can go in and you can set hotkeys. So all I do is I, um, I pull the audacity window over top of Minecraft and then I hit F4 and it toggles the record all at once so the video is synced from beginning to end same time link same everything it's uh it's actually really simple to do so that's how i get my videos synced there's a lot of different ways people do it i've seen people clap uh you know lots of different things to you know match the the audio in the video for me starting the recording session at the same time it is the easiest because it just links the video right together so once you um you have your audio mastered and you got your video into your editor, then it's time to start editing. Um, and this is a process where you don't want to rush. And a lot of times I miss those three, two, ones is because sometimes I'll record my audio and I will not be happy with how it turned out. So I'll restart it and I'll go <clears throat> three, two, one, and then restart the clip. And for that, that is sometimes I miss those and I, you know, it's, it happens, but I try my best not to miss them. I need to find a better system for it, to be honest with you. So uh, we, we start the editing process. Uh, some videos I like to do different, you know, different transitions, things like that. Uh, then we've got, you know, your intro, your outro. Those are all pretty much pre-made and ready to go. Um, and then you want to, um, you want to produce your video. It, it, you can either render it or, you know, the, 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 it's called a lot of different things like different depends on what your programs uh, pretty much doing but basically you're just you're rendering the video you're putting all of those files together dude die there we go anyways so you're putting all those you know those files together and it's making one video file and a lot of, a lot of get a lot of people asking you know like what video files do you use I use mp4 there um, that's like the YouTube standard basically um, and I record, I, I recently was doing 60 FPS, but to be honest with you, I didn't really see a quality change. So I switched to 30. So, uh, 30 FPS, uh, 1280 by 720. That's what, you know, and then there's like the little, uh, little, um, the, uh, just the video options that you got when you render. So the video gets rendered, uh, after you've watched it down when I'm done, I typically skim to it just to make sure everything is cool. I need to just start watching them full on. 
Um, once that's done, uh, you start the upload. And then once the upload has started, that's when you can start doing all your video details. That's thumbnail, um, thumbnail, uh, your video description, uh, monetization, because you, if you're a full-time YouTuber, uh, you will need to put ads on your video so you get paid. Uh, that's how how people get money on their videos. The more you watch it, the more ads are seen, the more the ads get paid. That's how much we get paid. So um, that's when the upload starts. Now, depending on how you do it, I typically like to record ahead of time, so these videos will be scheduled. Um, you'll probably see this a day ahead of when it's supposed to go, or, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But, uh, so, n now that you've done all that, um, there, there's different things that can help you. One of them is called TubeBuddy, and TubeBuddy is a process, uh, or a, a subscription service that you can use that will help you generate useful tags, and for each one of your videos, you should be doing, using different tags. You should be trying to generate the top most search tags for every single video that way when you're searching uh you get the most out of your video and your title and everything like that so you always want to be very very particular about what you do for your title so you got to learn about all that and um <laughs> die so uh once your video has published or not published but once your video has like uploaded there's only a couple things you need to do to sort of finalize it. There's uh there's like different options obviously, but um for one of them is like you can set a published message, you can set uh different things like um dude, there's so many mobs down this tunnel. Holy crap. What is this guy doing? Hold on. Uh So you can set like a published message. And what that means is that like when the video publishes, it kind of publishes to Twitter feeds and things like that. Uh, that's what it'll post so I could say, you know, whatever I want to say and it'll publish to that feed uh, You can also set when the video is published a certain time and date and um, And then that that's really the whole process for uploading a video So as a as my job as a youtuber once the video is published I need to watch the comments see how everything's going remove any spam um, And then kind of start the process all over again um, depending on how many videos you upload a day uh, you know, between one and three, uh, it can go a lot of different ways. Some people upload once a week. It just depends on how you feel comfortable and things like that. So being a YouTuber, uh, to, to answer your question, I suppose, is, um, is, uh, multitasking. You need to learn how to do art, uh, for your thumbnails. You need to learn how to, um, learn about YouTube's algorithm to try to get the most out of your videos. Uh, you need to learn how to do audio stuff. You need to learn how to learn about video. Um, and it's it's an ever-changing technology because, you know, technology is always getting better. So, you know, you're always learning, uh, always, you know, trying to strive for the best. You always want to put your very best foot forward, um, so to say. So being a YouTuber has taught me a lot about um, time management, uh, how to do different things. I've learned how to use Photoshop. Learned how to edit or edit and render videos. I've learned how to be comfortable talking to myself. Um, you know, time management, money management, uh, things like that. Because being a YouTuber, we don't get paid like normal people do. We get paid once a month, and we have to file our taxes as a sole proprietor with a 1099 rather than having a W-2. So there's a lot that goes into it that I think a lot of people don't understand. And it's not just about playing the video game. There's like 85 more things that you really have to do to succeed. It's it's a, it's kind of tough, but at the same time, I wouldn't trade it for the world. But my next question that I got that I wanted to answer was, do I think I'll do YouTube forever? When do you think it'll be time to, you know, quit? Um, you know, what do you think about that? Um, so I, I don't know how I feel about ever like quitting YouTube. Um, obviously this is a job that I could do for a very long time. Now, do I think I'll do it forever? I have no idea. That's, that's, you know, way too hard of a question to answer. Um, dude, this cave is nuts. Um, but, uh, some things I do want to chime on in. Um, YouTube is a, a very stressful job. Because you have to come up with the content, 
and even if you make the best video in the world not you know it's gonna be hard to target an audience that's in a saturated market for example we play minecraft well with minecraft there's you know so many other channels it unless you make something extraordinary um or you just you know you have that ability to carry an audience sometimes things don't work out and a lot of channels will fail based on uh you know other things like for example my channel doesn't do the best and i i realize that full on uh, i'm trying my best to bring it back though uh we've got quality series going up dude this bat you're going down you're going down there we go <laughs> but um so the question was you know do i think i'll ever quit youtube and there's the, that is a, a sort of a multiple choice question almost i would have to say for one there's two different aspects to that question what i mean is you know um one day i might not make enough money to live on and do i quit then or do i quit when i just feel like i don't want to do it anymore um, and if I think if one thing, if YouTube has taught me anything at all, is that I should be doing what I love no matter what. No matter what. It doesn't matter uh, if that makes me money or not. Because life is very, very short. And you should be doing what you love 100% of the time. Uh, you shouldn't, like, uh, you know, for example, look at your the people in your town. Like, I live in Dayton, Ohio, and there are a lot of people here that, like, you can obviously tell that they kind of hate their lives and that's not something that i want to do i want to enjoy my life to the fullest and i think that uh there may be a time and place when i might have to quit youtube i don't really know to be honest with you um but i do know that i think when that time comes i'll be able to recognize it and whether or not i quit youtube um you know who knows who knows what might happen i might get a job offer from a company or uh you know something like that or i might decide to do twitch or i don't know see th that question is very hard to answer because there's there's kind of too many variables to that situation um if i had the opportunity would i ever quit youtube no this is a dream job i love it i mean i get to create full time that is uh that is amazing like nobody really gets to do that i mean obviously some people do but you know cr being a creator um whatever you and you are creating you know that's a passion and i love making things at the end of the day like i i love you know putting ideas in my head and then putting them out as a physical or digital for this example uh, option and to me that is the absolute best part of this uh, I love interacting with all of my followers and even though our follower base you know isn't that strong like we have a super super awesome community here people are always like willing to be helpful and things like that and if you've ever seen somebody be rude to me in the comment section dude like 15 people jump down that guy's neck instantly it's insane so even though we don't have the biggest community you know it's growing and it, it might get there it might not who knows what's going to happen in the future this question is do you have any tips that you could give a new or somebody who is struggling on youtube to try and improve uh improve their channel yes actually i do even though i don't i'm not you know I don't claim to know everything in the world. I do have some tips I feel like I could share. So first off, uh, this will be for new YouTubers. Um, a, a lot of new YouTubers tend to do Let's Plays. Like, they jump on the Let's Play train right away. Uh, the Let's Play train, though, is, uh, is, like, super tainted with videos, right? There's tons of people doing Let's Plays. Sorry, I hear lava. Um, I mean, there's lots of people doing Let's Plays. So the one thing you got to realize is that if you, you, you know, you want to be successful, you sort of need to treat this like a business, but in a sense that you need to be smart enough to realize when to do something and when not to do something. So for example, you see Etho, you know, post a Let's Play video and you're like, man, I want to do that. Well, the problem is, is Etho's already done that. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, you know, uh you want to post 
uh, stuff that you're happy posting, right? Something that's gonna make you happy in the long run, but at the same time, you need to you need to have enough sense to sort of post something that um, that is more uh, not new, but at the same, it needs to be something that somebody hasn't searched for before. You know, it's something that uh, somebody's not doing because you know, I guess the best way to put this is. Why am I going to look at your channel when somebody or 800 people are doing the same thing, you know, you're doing? Like, why am I going to look at your Let's Play if somebody else is like me or Jevin's doing Let's Play? So, like, you know, you got to think about that when you're when you're deciding what you want to record. Um, so once you have, like, figured that out, um, remember what I said about putting your best foot forward? Always, always do that. Always try to, you know, present yourself in the best possible way. So I'm even I'm guilty of this, you know, with the three, two, ones. It, it's something that you know sometimes you miss and things happen. But uh, there's always another day to try to make yourself better. So when it comes to a new YouTube channel, um, you know, do your research. Do your research before you do anything. You know, just don't start it because you think, well, I'll do a Let's Play, you know? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna kill these guys. Die! There we go. Anyways, so, um, yeah, you know, a lot of people tend to think, like, well, I'll just do this, and, the, and then when they post, like, 14 videos, and they get, like, one view on each video, you know? That's that's not growth. That's, that's wasting your time. So, you know, if you don't know this already, YouTube can change lives. Like, it's astonishing how people don't know this. Um... Like, uh, like you can make <laughs> a lot, a lot of money on YouTube. It's in pretty insane, actually. But then again, you have to put the time and effort and the knowledge you need to, you know, you, know, you need to know all this stuff. So, um, when I would say that, that for a new channel, now for an existing channel, if I knew the answer to that, buddy, I would help you because obviously, I mean, like, this is something that, uh, I get asked a lot on my channel, you know, like. How come you have so many subscribers, but you don't get that many views? Well, if I knew the answer to that question, don't you think that I would uh, fix it? <laughs> like, uh, obviously, I want to get as many views as I possibly can. Um, you know, there's just, it's it's weird. You know, some videos will hit really good, get 10,000 views. Some videos you think will do good, and they'll get 1,000 views or something like that. And then again, at the same time, those people that are asking you, like, well, how come you only get this many views on a video? When was the last time they got 5,000 views? Or like, 5,000 people watched that video. That's, I mean, that's not a huge deal, but that's a that's that's a lot of people. I mean, <laughs> so at the same time, you know, it's like for uh, for an existing channel, and this is something that I'm even contemplating, is just switching it up. You know, like if what you're doing is not working, and see, this is this is the trouble for me, right? Is that if what you're doing is not working, then why are you still doing it? So take that into consideration. But at the same time, on my channel, some videos do do good. Some videos do do bad. So it's hard for me to consider changing when I do see success, but not everything is success. You know, it's 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 a hard decision to make, to be honest with you. Um, and then again... One thing you're going to encounter right away on YouTube is your fan base is going to hate. And when I say this, I mean, they're really going to hate it. They're going to hate change. Nobody likes change. <laughs> so, you know, um, if I was you, some things you might look into right away is seasons. Seasons for videos, off seasons, on seasons, um, you know, schedules, things like that. Because if you do a let's play and that person's like, okay, where's episode 819 of episode, you know, let's play this or whatever. It's like, okay, this is getting a little outrageous. So just be aware of what you're doing, I suppose, would be the best way to put that. And, um, you know, people are going to hate change. They're just going to have to get over it sometimes, though. So that's the best advice I could give for an existing channel. Because I, I struggle with this, you know, this portion of, uh, of YouTube every day. So, oh, there's a lot of baddies up there. Goodness gracious. Die. Oh, I'm coming for you. And then there's more, even more right there. 
They're everywhere. Oh my god. Hold on, let me get some food. Oh no, you didn't. Dude, the, by the way, the new health system, you gotta love it. You just, you can take so much damage and then just be like, hey, one health and I'm good to go. All right, so next question. And this is, this is a good question. So I forget who posted this, but thank you. Wow, we are on the surface. Are you serious? I didn't think we were this high up. Okay, we can go back down. Anyways, next question is, what do your friends and family think about your job? Now, this is an interesting you know, point of view because some people can be like, well, this is a joke job. When are you going to get a real job? And by the way, if you know any YouTubers and you use the term real job, prepare to get your butt handed to you pretty much because that, that, that phrase to us is like basically a spit in the face is the easiest way to put it. I mean, cause like, uh, to us, this is a real job. We, we invest our time, uh, you know, we invest our effort. And so as far as like my parents go, my parents, uh, you know, even though they're alcoholic drunks, they support me. And that's one thing I'm appreciative for is they're not like, Bro, you need to go get a real job or, you know, like, something like that. Because this, I mean, this technically is a real job. What is considered a real job? Do you make money off a job? Yes. Do I file my taxes? Yes. Bam. Job. <laughs> now, some people, there, there's going to be a couple different groups of people for this, right? There's going to be the people that are like, oh, that's an awesome job. You know, how do you do that? Then there's going to be the people that are jealous and they won't say it, but they'll be like, oh, that's a stupid job. You should probably do something else, you know? So, uh, but to start off with, I would say my parents were, are super supportive. So is my brother. Um, they understand that like, uh, this isn't what you would normally do for career. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty difficult to do. But uh, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't change it for the world. Now, I have run across critics just like everybody else. Um, but for the most part, everybody that I know, you know, has been pretty supportive of, the, of what I do. All right, next question is, what is the worst thing about doing YouTube? That's a very good question. And I think that is a pretty easy answer. And I think that is failure. Or not failure, but not measuring up to what you, you want to be or what you, you want to earn or what you want to achieve on videos and things like that. Because, like, nobody sets out to make a video that's going to do bad, obviously. Every video that I post, I want that video to do the best it possibly can. Um, so when you don't see the success that you want or, like, uh, for example, when you post a video and you... A lot of like like you know that whole process I explained to you about making videos. A lot of people don't see that or understand that when they see a video, so they instantly criticize and they're like, "Well, you should have done this better." And it's like, "Well, I just spent the last six hours making this, so I apologize." So, you know, um, a lot of a lot of YouTubers take criticism pretty hard, especially myself. I'm I'm I'll admit that right away. I'm pretty bad at it. Um, but that's just because, like, you know, I, I'm very passionate about this. And I, I really, really want to do good. And I want to be that guy that you go to for your, you know, your content. But that that's not always the case. And that's what I strive for every single day. So as far as, like, uh, what do I hate about YouTube? Um, not being a success. And I think a lot of people will probably think, like, well, you have a lot of subscribers. Doesn't that equal success? That does not equal success at all to me. Uh, I want to be better in every shape and form of things that I do. Um, and it, it's hard to, to sort of do that when you're stuck in a rut, I suppose. All right, guys. I think that uh, that is going to probably do it um, for this episode of Q&A Caving. I want to thank everybody who submitted their questions. And don't forget to put your questions for next episode so whenever i want to record this again i can just come back and look and see what episode or what's available um i'm going to continue caving and looking for goodies and things like that and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed so remember if you enjoyed these let's play episodes make sure you hit that like button it really does help the channel out and uh, i hope you guys all have a fantastic day thank you all for watching this is i Devin. peace out